This is Chanel Ray, age 14. In 2009, she told her mother that a comment on a social networking site made her so depressed that she wanted to kill herself. A few days later, she did. Tragically, she is not alone. Carl Joseph Walker Hoover, age 11. Holly Grogan, age 15. Kevin Morrissey, age 52. Jai Drummond Morcom, age 15. Asher Brown, age 13. These are all recent victims of bullying. Did you know that 27% of Australian students in years four through nine report being bullied at least once every few weeks? This is a 2009 Australian report. Additionally, one quarter or 25% of Australian employees report being bullied. This translates into approximately six to $13 billion in associated costs to Australian employers. And these are just the economic costs, not the social or psychological ones. So what are we doing about it? At Bond University, we've started a program called One Goal, One Community, Moving Beyond Bullying and Empowering for Life. This program has a service learning framework where students, university students learn concepts in the classroom and tools and techniques and take those out into the community to address real, real world issues and real world needs. This is a business school class on negotiation and persuasion. It has a student to student platform where university students go out and present information to primary and secondary school students about bullying, ways to address it, with a particular emphasis on cyberbullying. Now, as you can imagine, these are very different communications than if a teacher did that or someone old like me. All the presentations are fact and evidence based. All the information comes from Australian government approved resources, research, research reports, and websites. The idea is that students become agents of change. So the university students are these first agents. They're encouraged to go out and in these presentations, share information about bullying, elicit commitments from the students they present to, and secure pledges from these students, written pledges or promises that the students agree to participate in positive anti-bullying behaviors for the rest of their lives. Those primary and secondary students are then encouraged to go out into the community and share the same information with parents, friends, neighbors, and illicit commitments, and secure pledges, written commitments again, that those people will engage in positive anti-bullying behaviors for the rest of their lives. These wristbands are visible signals of an individual's commitment to this program. All of these communications are done face-to-face. -face. These are not petitions. You don't see them on MySpace or Facebook or Twitter. The idea is the ripple effect of positive change. Every person makes a difference. So what have we accomplished? In April 2010, in our first partnership with Varsity College, Principal Davis is here with us today, we had 10,971 people commit to this program. In November 2010, we had an additional 12,394 people commit. In April 2011, most recent iteration, we had another 10,000 plus people. So to date, in Australia, in less than 18 months, we've had over 33,000 people across five Australian states in the ACT engage in this program. We have another 7,000 people who have participated in two regions of the US. What do we know? We know empirically that this is increasing students' knowledge about bullying. We know empirically that this is increasing students' commitment to engage in positive anti-bullying behaviors. Response to the program has been fantastic. As you can see from the quote on the screen from a principal of 30 years, Tony Robinson, down at Talabodra State, she says this is the best anti-bullying program I've ever seen. I'll leave you with the words of Gandhi, as he aptly said so long ago, it is time for all of us to be the change that we would like to see in the world. We have one goal. We have one goal. Be part of it. One goal, one community. If you think something is wrong, it probably is. When I was 15, there was a girl in my class, and she was considered different. Just because she was overweight, everyone tormented her and made fun of her constantly. I watched her cry every day. It's not OK. Don't just watch police. Do something about it. Talk to someone. Tell the teacher. 
tell a parent? We have one go. We have one go. We have one go. I was bullied as a kid. I feared everything and everyone. I was scared of entering the real world, and I shot myself from every everything. It's not okay. What if it were you? Don't watch bullies do something about it. Don't walk away. Just saying hello can mean a lot. We have one goal. We are one community. Be a part of it. We are one community. Moving beyond bullying, empowering for life. If you've seen an act of bullying, you should do something.